Abdul Wakil owns a dry goods store in the Afghan village of Daku, about 40 kilometers north of Kabul. He says his cell phone has made all the difference. We used to go all the way to the city to order products. Now it's only a phone call away and the costs are much less. They call and I order what I want, and that is it. Almost three-fourths of Afghanistan's population is covered by a cell phone signal. Fewer than one person in a hundred has a fixed telephone line. The rapid spread of cell phones in developing nations like Afghanistan is the result of several factors, according to World Bank lead economist Andrew Burns. There's a, a combination of uh, being exposed to the technology, allowing it to get into the country, and then it's having a, a, an environment in which it can flourish, and that means having the pro uh, regulatory environment. It means having a population that is able to take advantage of it. Cell phone use worldwide has increased as more countries have opened up their state-owned telephone systems to allow private companies to build cellular networks. By the end of 2006, 68 percent of the world's cell phone subscriptions were in developing countries. The ease of use has been key, says Andrew Burns. You don't have to be literate, you don't have to be numerate, you don't have to be able to do mathematics or, or anything particularly complex, you have to be able to type in the numbers and it's extremely empowering. And financially empowering, as seen in the growth of mobile phone banking in developing countries. In Kenya, a low-cost cell phone service called M-Pesa allows people to send and receive money via text messages. The service is popular. It eliminates the need for people to travel long distances to deliver or receive cash. So Customer so Daniel Rohio. If I wanted to send money to my mom at this particular time or my grandmother, she cannot receive that money now. She loved to wait for maybe at least one day or two days. So I've found them pesa a little bit uh, easier to send money to them right now. Thanks to cell phones, advances in halting the spread of diseases like AIDS are now possible. In Rwanda, healthcare workers in rural clinics use cell phones equipped with special software to enter data and information about drug stocks and AIDS patients. They transmit this to health officials in the capital, Kigali, who can help in treating the disease. The system has helped patients, says health worker Jean-Luc Hassan Kavumu. I used to travel from here to Kigali to take information, and while I was gone, there was no one to attend to the patients. With this system and the cell phone, I'm here now all the time. Yet in some nations, cell phones have yet to make much of a difference. So although they have allowed developing nations to skip fixed-line technology, experts say cell phones cannot by themselves bring about economic development. Reliable sources of electricity, advanced road networks and other infrastructure must be in place, they say, for developing countries to experience sustained economic growth. Bill Rogers, VOA News.